Hey everybody, this is how you install IIS or Internet Information Services on Windows 11. So to start out with, we're going to go down here to the search and we're going to type turn Windows and we should, as we're typing this, it should pop up turn Windows features on and off. So that's where we want to go to. We click on that and it brings up the exact window. You'll see there's a bunch of options here, some of which are installed and some of which aren't. And so if you have a function in Windows that you didn't install and you need it installed, it will probably be here if you need to add it. And so we're going to go here to the third thing down, which is Internet Information Services. And you can see it isn't checked off there and doesn't have a little blue dot there. And uh, if we check off the upper level here, by default, it gives you the default option, so it doesn't turn on like FTP server. Uh, so we're going to keep these default options here. It also installs the uh, IIS management console right here, which we will need at some point. And uh, under World Wide Web Services, um, if we go down here, it has a bunch of uh, stuff on here. Uh, it gives you pretty much all the defaults that you need, but if you need other defaults, you can look down here for it, particularly if you're into application development features and you want to do .NET or, or um, CGI or uh, anything like that. That would be under here, so you can add that. But you can always go back later to this and just, uh, once again, type turn Windows features on or off and go to that window and add them later if you forget. So it's not a big deal either way. So we're going to click OK here. And it takes a few minutes for it to uh, install, but it's it runs relatively fast. And uh, so th the next thing we're going to do is we want to make sure uh, Really, we need to restart the uh, machine to make sure it's working correctly. But before you even do that, you can actually go up here and go into uh, Microsoft Edge and type localhost and hit enter. And you should get this web page. So it puts up the default web page. Uh, and uh, depending on the version of IIS, uh, the uh, default web page changes sometimes, but there'll always be a page there that says IIS or Internet Information Services to let you know that you've got IIS set up correctly. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.